wanna see you cry Let me know that was the reason why it's over You live a life I needed what you gave to me You're everything a living dream I know not an enemy Did you feel it though? We were riding low And only thing I know Welcome to Wild of the World and in this episode you'll see us traveling the west coast of Australia again. And we're in one of the most fantastic natural spots because this is the Shark Bay area. A world heritage site full of nature phenomena. Wait until we meet At WA Experts we picked up our four wheel drive camper for a road trip from Perth to Broome. Wait until we meet there, you're falling on my feet darling, you're the light out in a lonely day. Lay me down now in a misty haze, oh. In the previous four episodes you saw the southwest of Australia, full of special animals and bizarre nature. Way down it's just not all we need, like everything we live And now we pick up where we left so off, somewhere halfway in the middle of nowhere. Won't you stay here? Wow guys, we just kept on driving and it's already pretty dark out. It's about 8 o'clock. And we didn't see any villages on the road yet for a couple of hundreds of kilometers. So we just stopped at the roadside in the bush uh, to make what we already ate yesterday. It's Asian wok sauce with some Mexican wraps. Why not? Because you're camping, right? That's West Australia. <laughs> One big advantage of Australia is that you can camp everywhere and it's usually for free. From the bright blue Hamlin pool it's about a one and a half hour drive to heaven on earth. I think it's the most beautiful place on the entire west coast. After the road trip with some mind-blowing views, we arrive at Peron Peninsula and this place is incredible. As you can see, the water is crystal clear and there's supposed to be some dolphins out there as well. It looks like the Caribbean or maybe even more beautiful. And we're in a town called Denham, just to do a little shopping to get some gas and then we're moving up north here yeah, to explore this peninsula, guys. Wow. Since there are many uninhabited places on the west coast, you should fill up your car at every chance. And I wasn't just talking about diesel, you know? The next few days we'll be spending at one of the most terrific spots here in Peron Peninsula and it's called Monkey Maya, a very strange name but it's world famous in Australia. We have a very nice campsite, we have all the facilities like a kitchen, playgrounds, a swimming pool, a super nice uh, access to the beach but the surroundings here they are stunning. I'll show you with my drone. Maya is a nature reserve with just one campsite. Maya comes from the aboriginals and means home. And monkeys seem to have been here in the past as pets of Malaysian immigrants. The 
water at Monkey Maya is so clear that you can spot all kinds of animals even with the drone, like this group of stingrays. But also this sea turtle. How bizarre is this? Guys, on the campsite there are so many emus walking around and Jens is a bit scared of them, uh, just as his mother, Jens. But I think they're pretty great. Wild animals, how often do you see those? Jij bent bang. We fully enjoy this paradise, which has several swimming pools, playgrounds, restaurants and bars. Yet we only pay about 30 bucks a night for our family. A very good morning guys, I'm just making a nice stroll here among the pelicans and I was on my way to see the dolphin experience because every morning here in Monkey Maya they have a dolphin experience and they feed some female dolphins that they know of that come every day. Uh, but instead of those dolphins, a wild one, uh, like an unknown one, a male uh, came by and I caught that one on camera. So everybody was very surprised this morning and I, uh, I had a very good dolphin experience. From about 7 a.m. I've been waiting for the dolphins, which did not show up. But when almost everyone has already left, my big pal over here swims by. Oh, and of course, don't forget to say hello to my friends, the pelicans over here. Hey guys, good morning. Got some fish today? No? The next spot that we're visiting on the west coast of Australia is called Shark Bay. The entire area is very big, they got some peninsulas, beautiful beaches, a lot of blue bays and this area is not very populated, it's all nature and it's UNESCO World Heritage. We're spending the day in Francois Perron National Park and to go there uh, you have to have a 4x4 car and we have to reduce the air in our tires because we're driving on the sand. So we're standing in line and this park is very special because it's the heart of Shark Bay and we're gonna see some very nice spot here in the dunes. On this side of the road it's time to deflate our tires and when we leave the park again we can inflate them on the other side and the pressure that you have to aim at would be around 20. So here we go. Takes a while. Francois Perron was a French explorer and naturalist who crossed the country here in 1801. But probably without such an awesome four-wheel drive camper with two rooftop tents. The place to be in the Francois Perron National Park that we drove towards is Big Lagoon. It's already pretty from down here, on the beach with all the colors of the nature, on the land and in the water. But wait till you see it from the sky, because this is a true artwork. Wow. 
Well, this is what we came for. You can really only find such bizarre cocktail coastlines in Australia. Our next stop guys and I think you can guess which place this is because if there's a big lagoon there must be a little lagoon as well which is this one and it's not that little by the way it's perfect and blue Now that's what I call a beautiful natural pool. And close to the little lagoon we return to the relaxed town of Denham. It's almost time to leave Shark Bay. But before we do, there's one more place I'd like to show you. It's called Shell Beach and it's one of the most beautiful beaches around here. And also Jens is playing in this playground over here. And there are worse places to wait until your child is finished playing. So many beautiful spots guys, the one behind me here at the bay is called Eagle Bluff and this lookout, it's incredible. The expensive Shell Beach is no less than 60 kilometers long and is located on the southern shore of Shark Bay. It is one of only two beaches in the world that is made entirely of shells instead of sand. Next time you will see us continue our road trip through the bizarre Australian nature. Hop along as we visit Ningaloo Reef from Exmouth and also we drive into the outback. So stay tuned, like and subscribe. Ciao!